ai ban darwane ada api sudalang wenne 12 shreniye bimmenuma padame tawat kotasak awarne karanna talamesa bimmenuma natan talamesa bimmenum shilpa kramaya api awarne karanna thamai ada sudalang wenne meeta kalin padamakadi ogollo talamesa bimmenum shilpa kramaya kiyanne mokakda kiyala moolika avabodayak laba ganna eti හොඳයි අපි බලමු මේ පාඩම ඉවර වෙනකොට ඔයගොල්ලෝ මොන වගේ ඉගුණුම් ඵලයක් කරා ළඟා වෙන්න ඕනේද කියන එක. තලමේස බිම්මැනුම සඳහා අවශ්‍ය කරන උපකරණ මොනවද කියන එක හඳුන ගන්න ඔයගලන්ට හැකියාව ලැබෙන්න ඕනේ. ඒ වගේම තලමේස බිම්මැනුමේ පියවර මොනවද? තලමේස බිම්මැනුම සිදු කරලා ඒකෙන් බිම් සැලසුමක් පිළිලා කරන්න ඔයගලන්ට Heki awak lebih nanti tuh, nih praktikal leka. Ini bagi mata mai talamis bimmenu me wedegat kam. Saha talamis bimmenu me magin bumi ke sesra pale ganai karanne. Ogolan te heki awak lebih nanti tuh nih. Ini minne me ni puna dah bani kara ogollo langka karawanne. Mami bimmenu me pade me talamis bimmenu me silpakra me usaha karanwa. සාවදානව පාඩමට ඇහුම්කන් දුන්නත් ඔයගලන්ට මේ අමාරුයි කියන සංකල්ප බොහොම ලේසියෙන් අවබෝධ කරගන්න හැකියාව තියෙනවා. ඉතින් ඔයගොල්ල දන්න කාරණයක් තමයි භූමික වර්ගඵලයේ ගණනය කරන්න ඒ භූමිය මනින්න ඕනේ. එම නැත්තම් බිම් සැලැස්මක් පිළලා කරලා ඒ වර්ගඵලය අපිට මැන ගන්නට හැකියාවක් ලැබෙනවා. ඉතින් දරුවනේ ඔයගොල්ල මේ දකින්නේ බිම්මැනුම් ශිල්ප ක්‍රමයේ සිදු කරන ආකාරයේ යම් තාක් දුරකට තියෙන වීඩියෝ දර්ශනයක් ඒක හොඳින් නරඹන්න ඒක නැරඹු යන් පස්සේ ඔයගලන්ට පුළුවන් මම මේ කියන කාරණා පිළිබඳ ඔයගලන්ට යම් අවබෝධයක් ලබා ගන්න which is placed on a tripod and used with a sighting device called an alodid to create a scale drawing of a site A piece of polyester drafting film is taped onto the drawing board with masking tape. You'll need a tape measure and a scale ruler to measure the features and create your scale drawing. To set up the plane table, first of all open out the tripod legs and secure them firmly in the ground. Next, attach the table to the tripod by placing it on top and tightening it with a screw from underneath the tripod. When drawing a building, you should orientate the long side of the board so that it's parallel to the long axis of the building. You can change the height of the table to suit by adjusting the tripod legs. The next step is to use a spirit level to ensure that the table is completely level. Check both ways, adjusting the tripod legs until you are satisfied it is level. Now you need to mark the centre point below the table. This represents your station. The marker means you can easily relocate your table if it is moved by mistake or if you need to add to your survey at a later date. To mark this point, attach a plumb bob to a line and hang it from the hook which you will find under the tripod. Lower it and mark the location point by sticking a peg in the ground as shown. Now ready to start thinking about your drawing. Begin by recording the north point and placing a pin in the centre of the board, which is directly above the peg representing the station. Then write the site name and grid reference on the drawing. NT17963 642 You can use a map or a GPS to establish the grid reference. Our video on using GPS explains how to take a GPS reading. Decide what You then need to choose some reference points and cite them on your plan. Marking these points means you can then come back to the site in the future, a 
and use these points as a reference to ensure the plane table is angled in exactly the same way as it is now. These points need to be outside the area you are drawing and should be fixed points in the landscape, such as a fence post or a telegraph pole. It's important to choose points which are at different angles from each other. Ideally, they should form a triangle with the station. To mark a point, begin by sighting through the alidade. Keep the alidade pressed against the pin in the centre of the board and move it around until the two sights line up with your point. Then, near the edge of your page, away from where your plan will be, draw a ray along the side of the alidade closest to the pin. Now you are ready to start recording your sight. You need to think about which points to plot on your drawing. With a building, choose a logical place to start, such as a corner, and work in one direction. It's advisable to get the external footprint of the structure first, and then survey the interior. If you wish, you can use a ranging pole to mark the point you want to take. Then plot it by sighting through the alidade in the same way you did when finding your reference points. Remember to keep the alidade pressed against the pin in the centre okay. and always to draw your ray on the same side of the alidade, the one closest to the pin. When you've done this, take a tape measure and measure the distance between the point and the centre of the plane table. Write this distance on the ray you've drawn. Doorway right. Okay. Work your way round the feature, recording the angle and the distance to your points like this. By using this method, you can use your measurements to work at a different scale if you want. Then, take your scale ruler, find the appropriate scale, put the zero against the pin in the centre of the board and the other end of the ruler along the ray, and measure and plot your points. You might want to make a small notch in the ruler beside the zero point so you can rest the ruler against the pin and keep your measurements consistent. You can then join the dots to see the scaled representation of your site. Be careful though that you don't take too many points before joining them up. You could end up getting confused about features such as openings. With time and practice you'll find your own preferred method of working and it may be that you prefer to plot the points and join them as you go along. Bear in mind that your plan will be representing a slice through the building at sill height, which is about 0.5 metres above ground level, so it is the footprints of the walls you are recording. Once you've finished one wall line, you can move on to the next. Once you've got your wall line, it's not essential to measure in every opening with your plane table. If the wall is straight, you just need to cite features such as openings through your alidade and mark them on the wall line on your plan. You can use a hand tape measure to record certain features which you can't see from the plane table, such as wall thickness. Now the team have taken all the points from station 1 and the plan looks like this. It's time to move on to station 2. To do this you need to sight in to where the next station will be. Measure it and mark it on your drawing at station 1. Thirteen point four nine. Good. Okay. Then move the plane table to station two and set it up in exactly the same way as before. 
you should take a new piece of paper and begin a new drawing. Remember that the pin in the centre always represents your station, and so from your new position, the pin represents station 2. Don't forget to add your reference points and north arrow. Now, take a ranging pole and place it on the peg which represents station 1. Find it through your alidade and back sight from station 2 to station 1. You're now ready to start recording all the points you can see from station 2, and then repeat the process for your remaining stations. By overlaying the drawings from the four stations, you can see how the plan builds up here, with points from station 1, station 2, station 3, and station 4. Once you've done this, you can go round and add missing features using a hand tape to plan them onto your drawing. You can also use drawing conventions to add information to your plan, such as detail on construction materials and whether upstanding walls are above or below sill height. <laughs> Thalamus be menumaki and mukak the kenaka. Me thalamus be menum a vedagat come the mother one. A bit of kuda pramana eat a maki and a bath the car do eat a maker. Menela, Sithiam carnis and the Yodagan Napula. Bath the car do eat a mak menla peteka, Sithiam carnis and the Yodagan Avasani, a boomy workapale garneki me hekiavak tino. Ivagimatamai, Mikitan Tavat Visheshawasi of Tamai. A piece of amaning be menum. Uh, one Mataka the Mankiwa, Akar, the Kakata Bedano, Eka, Ekaveda Kapikarane, Field Gay, Sesha Kare, I can sit him a bim menuma, Sidukarela, Date Kutukiri Makarela, Etikarane, Sesha Edi, Ilanga, and bim menum, Skarla, Sidukar Livella Labagata, Data Tikaragane, Sitia Madine, a Kapikan office work, Kare Lady, Kare Liveda. Have I me? Bimanum Shilukramati in a Suisheshi Kamatamai Sesha Vedai Kareali Vedai, the Kama Sesha the Matamai Sidakara Naka and Api May Bimanuma Sidakala Data Labagana, Sesha Dima, Api Sitima and Dima Sidaka Nakatama make it in a Suisheshi Vasi. Thing Api Balamuda Rune May Thalamis a Bimanume. I make a Thalamis a Bimanuma Kilakian, make it a Thalamis a Kin, which is Uparne. Yodagan, I think Api Katagaramu, Isella, me Talames, a beam menumas and the ha Apita Babita Karan Vena, Apita Avashagarana, Upakaranamona the Kelapi, Ekineka, Hundunagam. Yogola Daki name Talames, what a pain with the maker summoning Lala Pageka, maker Madapu, summon a take wage, Liakintama Hadalatiene, a bit of with the Pramana Valing. Make a Dakin Puluang Menava, make a Vedagat, then make a Mata Tira Tamayapi, Menum Kati to Saha, Sitia Mandima, Sidagarani. A come, one of the Penuati, Talamese, Amandagarla de Ne Tepawak Mother. The Tepawa Matadama Talamese Randavani, the Talamese Randavag and Ima Sada Tamai, Tepawa Vedagat in Ilagan to make a Vedagat and Taubagarne and Tamai. Well, I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm going Dakna Pete, Veneta, Anipata, Hanunapi, was to pet again. Dakna Petra Damayapi, a pea sediane, was to pet tapi, uh, Ekareki of Tiane, uh, Idame Maimakatiana, Pelaganum, Ritagate. So got a me, Pathica, Venevena, Andragane, Saman and Taladar Shareke, Capita, Oviator, Unamadar Shareke, uh, Dakna Petasa, was to pet the Gela, Pathi de Gak, Andragane. Puluang and make a Vedagat to Bagarnea, Talamesa be menumidi. Eva game at the Mai Ilangatapi Katagar and Bude made Lamba Caruza Lambe, Nicola Dakini, Lamba Caruza Lambe 
ලඹේ උගුල දනව ලඹේ වැදගත් වෙන්නේ ගුරුතර රේඛාව හොයා ගන්න. එතකොට මේ ලඹේ සහ ලඹ කරුව ලඹ කරුව භාවිත කරලා තමයි අපි ලඹේ රැඳවීම සිද්ධ කරන්නේ. ඒකේ ප්‍රයෝජනය තමයි එක්කෝ පොළොවේ තියෙන ලක්ෂයක් තලමේසේ මත රඳවලා තියෙන කඩදාසිය මත ලකුණු කිරීම. එහෙම නැත්නම් කඩදාසිය මත ලකුණු කරපු ලක්ෂයක් පොළොව මත ලකුණු කිරීම තමයි අපි ලඹේ සහ ලඹකරුව භාවිතා කරලා සිද්ධ කරන්නේ.